take two. epic conversion video where we're going to show you how you can join the van life movement with a fairly average station wagon. Yeah, it's pretty generous. Like, average unit probably everyone's station wagon. Oh it's true. At the base level of this. With a below average station yeah. wagon. Yeah, no, that's not a bad thing. It's like, yeah. you can too. The below average station wagon. <laughs> anyway, we're going to give you a quick tour of the super souped up car that we've been living out of. The really requisite thing for any vehicle you're going to live out of, of course, is the bed or comma, as my friends in Spain say. I don't have any friends from Spain. Here it is. This is ours. We built it out with uh, this mattress I think Tam's installed from the Queenstown dump and uh, built it out by just laying it down there. So it's actually perfect, it does the job really well. It's really spacious. Really spacious, especially when you're six foot five. Heaps of room. So I'll give you a tour of our kitchen. So just like most fans here, we've got this great wee cupboard that pulls out from underneath the bed. No, I'm joking, this is a station wagon. Clearly there's no space for that. Sort of thing. So um, we just borrowed a camp cooker. We don't even own it. Uh, it works great, giant gas bottle. The only item that we actually bought is our beautiful camp chairs. Definitely promotes indoor outdoor flow. And we basically only travel to places where it doesn't rain. What you're looking at here is state of the art. I don't know what it was before it got stolen, this gap here where the radio is. So we replaced it with this Bluetooth speaker, which is pretty good. Jimmy Buffett comes out pretty clear, which I'm happy about. Cigarette lighter is still working, so we can get everything hooked up. It's good to go. Most of the windows work. The three of the four work. And same with the doors. <laughs> and a couple days ago, for whatever reason, the driver's side door stopped working, so we've Locked been climbing itself. through the window. Fortunately, the window on the driver's side door still works, so we can climb in through that still. Really, things just have worked out like better than you could have ever hoped for. <laughs> I don't know if this part of the of the vehicle was stolen, but for some reason the everything holding like the guts, keeping the guts hidden behind the steering wheel have fallen apart. So now, it, um, you know, this is where you put the key. Although a key is strong word. You could probably start it with a teaspoon. You could probably start it with a fingernail clipping. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> That's disgusting. Mm, no, no, no. So one question that we frequently get asked while living on the road is. How do you guys stay so clean? Uh, <laughs> oh my god! How do we camp for free? We're still trying to figure that one out. The most expensive part of any conversion generally is the initial upfront cost of buying the van. And being total dirtbags with no money. Instead I rang around a couple of people I knew who had um, really ancient cars um, and asked if I could buy them off them. So one of my friends said that I couldn't buy his car but I could have it. We got our beautiful wagon donated to us really. She's roadworthy and we named her the DW which is our affectionate abbreviation for the dirtbag wagon. How much did our entire conversion cost? I'll run you through the list of things we actually paid for because 90% of this we either borrowed or acquired. I don't think we stole anything. Our um, beautiful mattress, 20 bucks of soft trade me, which is the equivalent of Craigslist. Uh, our beautiful fitted single sheet was, was a dollar from a thrift store. Our duvet cover, I think that was expensive. That cost us four bucks. And the duvet in it, we actually brought a new one. That was a whole twelve dollars from Kmart. Pillows, brand new, two for ten bucks. One of the pillowcases was donated. One of them we bought for a dollar. What's an expensive pillowcase? So much fabric in the pillowcase. We were gifted the blanket and the uke. The wardrobe.
drive. Two dollars? From the thrift store? Oh yeah, we showed you the stereo already. No, it was 19. Our sound system was the most expensive part of this whole conversion. Gotta have jam. And then the charger. I think our phone charger cost us eleven dollars fifty. And that's all in New Zealand dollars. All up, I think the vehicle and conversion cost us under a hundred dollars. Can you give us the soundtrack? Give us something we can set the whole video to. Uh, this is from my friend Jimmy. Friends now, eh? <laughs> we will be soon. Jimmy, if you're watching this, uh, I want to hang out again. I mean, I want to hang out for the first time. <laughs>